what's up guys welcome back to retro pop planet and welcome back to a very soggy and spring typical spring virginia day we are in fairfax county this is not too far from where i live if you recognize it immediately it's because you have been obsessed with the johnny depp and amber heard trial this is not an opinion video because i to be honest i haven't really followed it all that closely i've just seen clips on the daily and a lot of folks that i know have actually been to the trial or are watching it pretty regularly but i had to come by this morning to the post office and i thought i would just do a quick little video of showing you a little bit of celebrity here in Fairfax, Virginia. Now, from what I know, it is not a criminal case. It is a civil case, meaning that it's basically about money. And the reason it here is here in Fairfax, Virginia is because I think Johnny Depp is suing uh, Washington Post, which is actually licensed here in Fairfax. So this would be the district that the court case would obviously be in. Now, it is a Saturday, so there's nothing happening here. Uh, this area is kind of a mob scene. Uh, during the week, I've driven by here on my way to work in the morning and I've seen the press just completely camped out and it's pretty insane. I'll show you a little bit of the areas that I know that uh, the media has been focused on and everyone pretty much worldwide I know is watching this case. So I thought it'd be kind of fun since this is in basically my backyard to do a quick little video. This area here is where I have driven by in the morning on 123 and have seen all the press just camped out waiting for any sort of update and also where uh, Court TV has done their live feeds from. Now here's the front entrance to the courthouse. It is a, just a regular courthouse where normal transactions take place. I think uh, this was where Johnny Depp and Amber Heard actually would go in and out on the first day and then they quickly realized that it was just such a complete mob scene to come in and out of the main doors that they would actually, uh, I think on day two or day three of that first week, move them to the back more secured uh, entryway. You know several people that have actually gotten into the trial and have been seen on TV. Now this area right in front of me is where folks have generally just camped out uh, to see if they can get in on each day. They've been out there like one in the morning, basically sleeping out underneath that shelter area over there and in hopes of just getting in for the day's trial proceedings. This courthouse is actually not that old, maybe 10 years or so. It used to be a 12 foot tall tower off in the distance there where you can see the parking garage is. And it was full of asbestos, so it took them a long time to actually rip it down. That's actually where, uh, when I was in high school, I had some friends that were in car accidents. One actually had to go to court, so I had to go there and testify as a witness. But now, this is the actual courthouse that you would go in for, you know, marital disputes and all kinds of just traffic tickets and just regular violations. Here's the old Legato School, built somewhere between 1876 and 1877. Moved to this site in 1971 and it's in dire need of restoration. They restored it about, I wanna say almost 15, 20 years ago, but it needs it already. Now, just like any city, the area around the courthouse is just flooded with law firms. So this area is actually pretty congested um, during the week of people going to and from the courthouse. So it actually didn't take them long to change the location that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard would enter and exit the courtroom each day. Going in through the front entrance just was not feasible. Uh, I think they were just getting overrun by the press. And this area back here behind me is gated and they're actually able to go in and out of there um, without any sort of hassle 
And it's funny because I've seen photos of the press just like hoisting the cameras up over the wall, standing on top of garbage cans. Uh, it's kind of, it's just silly. So if you recognize this building behind me, then you probably were a fan of the long running TV series, Lock Up, which they did several episodes here in Fairfax County. The Adult Detention Center. So I thought I would end this video outside the historic courthouse uh, undercover out of the rain just because this courthouse has been here for almost 200 years. I wanted to clear something up that I saw on the internet. People online were wondering why this court case was being handled in such a quote unquote small town. Fairfax County is the largest suburb outside of Washington, DC. We're about 15 miles outside of the city and right down the road over here about a mile or so is George Mason University, which is the largest school in the state. They have like 30,000 students, 20 of which are on campus. When I was in high school, I saw Arthur Miller's The Crucible performed live inside the old courthouse and it was very creepy. For Arthur Miller's unforgettable drama of The Crucible. So I'm gonna end the video here because I am sick of this cold, wet rain. Uh, it's May, I'm desperately hoping that spring will get here soon and summer permanently. Um, if you like this kind of vlog video, I'm enjoying making them. So please hit uh, that like button and leave me a comment. Uh, what do you think is gonna be the verdict in this case? I'm actually really curious to see if there's gonna be a monetary verdict, who's gonna get awarded or if it's just gonna be tossed. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that. And I've got some more big projects coming soon, but for now, these vlog videos are great because I can pump them out much faster than I can with some of my projects that I'm working on in the background. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.